Hey everybody, welcome back to BDGC. I have Kevin Egan here with me. Kevin, thanks for joining me here on the channel. We are doing another Discovering RPM Disc Series. So basically what I do, I'm mic'd up, Kevin's mic'd up, and he's gonna throw nothing but RPM discs. And I'm essentially gonna caddy for him and talk to him about what he would normally throw on each hole. And we're gonna find the RPM comparison. So before we get going, uh, just ask a couple questions. Uh, tell the camera what your experience with RPM is so far. Uh, only ones I've really thrown are Tui and Kea. Okay, so not not too many of them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge him today. I'm gonna get him to throw some stuff he hasn't thrown yet. So uh, it's a fun challenge. If you're interested in being on this uh, channel, as I said, this or on this series, uh, this is the second episode. So please contact me. I'll put my information down here. And uh, I think that's it. Unless you got any final words? No. Just throw frisbees. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. All right, so. Once again, thanks Kevin for joining me. Uh, make sure you click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. Okay, I didn't mention, but we're at Rogersville City Park Disc Golf Course. Uh, we're on hole 10. Kevin's playing the back nine here. Um, this one's 214, I believe I said. So what would you normally throw on this one, Kevin? Um, up here, I'd be throwing like Yote. Okay. All right, so closest comparison, I would say that would probably be that premium P-Walk, but just a little bit softer than what you would throw that one. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's well, quite a bit more flippy, but uh, I think with control and, and some hyzer, I think you can get there with it. Yep, that'll work. All right, so Kevin got him a putt here. He usually putts with uh, Rico X's, and he's gonna putt with a Tagapoo today. It's not, uh, not meets, don't meet the hand feel, but definitely the flight. Yes, sir, starting with a birdie. Okay, so hole 11 here is 292. You can kind of see the lines on the ground here. What would you go with on this one, Kevin? Okay, same Kex Z. Kex Z. With a little flick on it. Okay, so probably that baseline Kotaku, the white one, I think would be, yeah, that one for sure. Probably a little bit more flex than you would throw on the Kex Z. All right, so it looks like the wind, we had a headwind for some reason, it didn't flip it, it just dropped it straight down. Um, what would you throw? Are you just gonna throw an upshot here? Uh, with, I'm gonna go with the putt. Go, he's going with the putt, <laughs> all right. He's got <laughs> the Takapu <laughs> baskets under those limbs there. Oh, Liam knocked it down. He'll save that part though. All right, this upshot, or this putt here is uh, trickier than I thought. He's right behind this limb. I had to move over to the right here. Yeah, let's see what he can do. This Takapu. Going to the knee, smart play. Oh, oh. limbs. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good putt. Okay, so Kevin is even par now after that unfortunate <laughs> bogey there. <laughs> but we got a uh, hole 12 here. It says 195 on U disc, but uh, him and I both agree it feels a little bit further, quite a bit further than that, I think. So, uh, what would you throw on this one, Kevin? Probably yarn. Yarn, okay, forehand? Yeah. So I would say that white Kia 
would be the best bet in that one. Yeah, that one for sure. Uh, that one's beat a little bit, so it might not be quite as stable as the yarn, but it'd be a close comparison. That's perfect. That's going to be parked. We'll skip. Great shot. All right. He's going with the Takapu here. He's got a putt for his two. Great putt. Nice. He is back to one under par. All right. Hole number 13 here says 299 on U-Disc. I think that's pretty accurate. So uh, let's see, what would you go on this one? I'd probably go Hyzer Flip with Savaya. Hyzer Flip with Savaya, okay. So <laughs> definitely P-Walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I know that sounds funny that I picked P-Walk for Savaya and the goat, or Yeti, but. It's going to turn a little bit too much. Hit the trash can. <laughs> Ace. <laughs> All right, I told Kevin if he didn't like my disc, he didn't have to throw them in the trash can to give them back. But he's got a putt here for the birdie. Oh, my. Very good run. safe. It's getting windy. <laughs> All right, so hole 14 here is uh, two, what did I say, 284? 284. 284. He said he'd go with the same shot, so I'm actually going to give him the P-Walk straight for my bag instead of this one, because it'll hold up to the wind a little better, so stay tuned. Kevin's got my Atomic P-Walk. It's a little more stable than the other one. Fell down. <laughs> All right, as you can see, he's right behind this pine here. This is gonna be a much trickier shot, so I don't know what line or disc he would go with, so let's see what he's got to say. Probably train Anheuser with Soft Rico. Anheuser Soft Rico, okay, so I would say probably that Ruru, it's uh, third one over there, yeah. So it's gonna be a little flippier than a soft Rico, so maybe not quite as much arm on it as what you would do with the soft Rico. Hmm. He might be able to get that putt. All right, so he's going with the Takapu putt here. Hmm, I think the wind affected that one. He's gonna go back to even par. Small little tap in here. All right, back to even. Okay, so this hole's 288, but it's a definitely, and the police are here apparently, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a, a, a trickier line than the holes we've played so far. Um, he said he'd go fairway. What kind of fairway would you go? This one, probably lots. Lots. Okay, so I would say probably, probably that Cosmic P Walk that's, or not P walk, I'm sorry. Pekka Pekka, it's the pick clearish kind of one. Yeah, that one right there. But you'll definitely need to throw it on a little bit more hyzer because it's gonna be flippier than the lots. <laughs> oh. 
Uh oh. I think the wind got a hold of that one. Oh, it stopped rolling. All right, so he's got a small upshot here. Um, I was, I had the wrong disc selection on the last one. That was my bad, and the wind kind of took it as well. What would you throw for this upshot? This one would definitely be Berg. Berg. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're putting me at a. Uh, I, I would say that Magma Soft Kia. That. Uh, okay, two over from that. That one right there. Yeah. So it's similar to an A3, but it's going to fly uh, straighter because of that magma soft plastic. It's going to be more stable in a bird. Yep, that's a putt. All right, Kevin going to mash this birdie or par putt right here. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, he's back. He's still at par here. He got a par on the last one. Hole 16 here. It says 162 on U disc, but I did range finder. We both felt it a little was a little off. It said 198. So, what you go throw on? What would you throw on this one? Rico X. Rico X. Okay, so uh, I would say that Ruru again. All right, so I grabbed Kevin the Ruru from my bag. It's an atomic, and it's a little more stable than the other one he threw. So I'll see what happens. Oh, perfect shot. That should be a birdie. All right, so he got it inside the circle. Let's see if he can get his putt and go back down to under par. Yes, sir. Roo roo, talk a poo birdie. Okay, two holes left. We got hole 17 here, and uh, it's 253. Which I say is a little pretty accurate, but it does play downhill, so maybe plays a little shorter. What would you throw on this one, Kevin? This one would be a yoke tee. Okay. On an Anheuser. On an Anheuser. Okay, so I would probably say that P walk again, but that the flippier one. Uh, maybe just uh, maybe a little more flat than Anheuser because it'll get the flip for you instead of having to flip it over. a little bit too much flip but that was a great shot yep. all right so just for the sake of the video we'll mention that uh <laughs> up on the tee we felt zero headwind but we got down here and you can see a headwind definitely <laughs> flipped that one over oh, oh good bid get that far Par safe. He is one under par. Okay, hole 18, final hole. Uh, this one's 390. Uh, the range finder off the front of the tee, this newer tee here, and there is a massive headwind. So, what would you throw? You gotta be throwing Grim. A Grim. A headwind. Okay. All right. So I would say probably I've got one of the flippier run uh, Katares. It's that uh, light blue on this far end over here. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah. So this, by the numbers, it's 12503, but this one's a flippy run. So uh, you might actually need to put a little bit of hyzer on it. Oh yeah. It's a good shot. He should be able to save his par from there. All right, Kevin's got a, he's gonna try a putt with the Takapu here. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, so close. Easy par though. Nice. All right, everybody, that is it. Kevin finished one under par. So uh, what'd you think about the disc? I think pretty good. Pretty good? Bunch of them. One under par, that's, oh, camera's gonna fall. Okay, good save there. So uh, yeah, one under par with discs, you don't even know. Uh, a couple of them were uh, kind of bad on my behalf. Not too good at caddying, but yeah, uh, good, good round, man. Thanks for joining me on the channel. Uh, if you're interested in uh, being part of this series, I'll put my information down here uh, at the bottom of the screen. Contact me and uh, let me know. So, uh, yeah, what was your favorite? I will ask, what was your favorites of what you threw? Probably he definitely Takapu. Takapu, cool. Put yeah, yeah, he did some good shots with that. We actually played, uh, Kevin and I played the front nine before too, so a little bit of warm up before, and he hit some good putts with that Takapu, so. Yeah, that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area.